Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and uh, the long holiday weekend turned in some sales. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales, I go to estate sales, I go to thrift stores, I troll Facebook Marketplace. I, I find stuff that I can buy and then sell again. Mostly that selling again happens on eBay. And uh, I haven't done what sold video in a couple of days. And so I wanted to show you what's been selling over the last few. Uh, and we're gonna look today at the couple of days ahead of the long holiday weekend. It was a double holiday weekend as it turned out. And even with Father's Day, which is a day where you don't typically see a lot of online activity. That's a holiday where you don't uh, see a bump, I, I don't think. Uh, even with that, I think we did pretty well. So let's take a look. Nice group heading out, including this guy. Really cool. You can see reflective on the back. It's a Harley Davidson riding jacket. And uh, it's got that. And then uh, HDMC on the front. I think it says Harley up there somewhere. And just a really cool jacket. And uh, I'd, I'd have got more for it eventually. Uh, but as has kind of been the case lately, uh, I'm willing to deal a little bit on some things. And I was going back and forth with a guy trying to find a price that worked for both of us and uh, ultimately settled in at $90 plus shipping. For that, we've got Pink Power. This is a, uh, it's a tool bag. It's actually a really cool bag. It's a little heavy duty, actually. Um, powerful tools for women, I guess. Uh, it doesn't have the bonus small bag. It just has the one tool bag. And it's been sitting around for a little bit. And finally found somebody to take it off my hands. And it sold for $31.99. Free shipping, but uh, a couple pounds, so definitely some money left over. This guy was on an offer and a counter offer, and then a counter to the counter. Eventually settled in at $10.50 plus shipping for the Carhartt hat. It's actually a new hat, and then they went in this company, I guess, like custom bleaches stuff. So it's a new hat, I guess, but new other because it's been modified. So, kind of a cool look. That's why I picked it up. Here we've got Rocket Fish. These two go together. This is a Bluetooth music receiver. There it is right there, Rocket Fish. And I've been hanging on to this for a little while now. And it's got some decent value, so I was willing to wait for it. $22.39 plus shipping. We've got here, this uh, is only about a week old. Super cool. I've never seen one. This is uranium glass or depression glass, Vaseline glass. Uh, they're, to most of us, interchangeable. I think there are actually differences between the two. I don't know enough about glass to know the difference. I just know it looks cool. These will glow when you shine a black light on them. I've never seen it before with the base. And I thought that was cool. And that's why I picked this thing up. I paid uh, $5. And it sold, like I said, in uh, just a couple of weeks. It's a little bit heavy, but pretty cool. Juicer, citrus, reamer, whatever we want to call the thing. I call it $20 plus shipping. Here we've got an Alaskan Ulu knife. I've talked about them before. They sell quite well. Some of them for really good money. Uh, they come out of, oh, well, Alaska. And it's like a little rocker knife. And this one has a base that you set it in. And this one is only a couple weeks old, I think. And it actually sold to our great friend, Allie. Allie picked this up. I think I sent an offer on that maybe. And it turned out it was to Allie, 15 bucks plus shipping. We've got a little Pikmin plush. Continue to sell these guys, $15.79 plus shipping for that. Mad Magazine, we've got Survivor on the cover not a whole lot here but uh, i figured it was worth listing when you buy bulk you try to get what you can out of it this sold i think an offer that i sent out 948 free shipping on that this one lasted less than a day i paid a dollar for it in the morning and it sold in the afternoon civil war this is by ken burns a little documentary series and uh, nine dollars 98 cents plus media mail shipping and then We've got a Commonwealth Picker Special. This is uh, backgammon. It's the cups and uh, the dice. 
replacement dice and I uh, got the whole, the board, the board wasn't worth anything, but these sell. And so I pulled these out, got the, the whole set for a dollar and these guys sold for $14.21 plus shipping. I'm packing up and realized we forgot a piece here. Uh, this is from the G.I. Joe headquarters. It's just a, uh, a panel piece. It's a replacement piece if somebody needs to complete their set. And this guy sold for $9.98 free shipping. All right, guys, just a couple. A few? Several? Let's go with several. <laughs> Headed out today. How about this one, though? Let's move that up so we can see it better. Montana Silversmiths. I picked this up a week ago. And uh, not super valuable. It's not like sterling silver or anything, but it's got the Montana Silversmiths name on it. And so pretty solid. I picked this up along with a couple other small little things for 10 bucks at a sale. And I was pretty sure uh, I could get $20 for it. And that's what I accepted an offer for. 20 bucks plus shipping for the vintage Montana Silversmith jewelry. So a uh, set of earrings and a necklace there. Pretty cool. Uh, Richard Simmons. Guys, weirdly, this set has a fantastic sell-through rate. I picked this up yesterday at an estate sale. I think I paid $2 uh, for this. This is new and sealed. It's the complete collection of sweating to the oldies, I think. Sweating to the oldies plus new exclusive bonus material. I don't know. It's a five DVD collection. Paid a couple bucks for it. I listed it uh, about dinner time, and it sold overnight. This thing sold so fast. I, I'm surprised how quickly it sold, and at full price, full asking price, twenty eight dollars seventy nine cents plus the shipping for that. Thanks, Richard. Then we got Snuggle. Our final Snuggle Bear has sold. We got three of these guys for five bucks at an estate sale they were still in a big plastic bag all three of them were in there together i paid five bucks for that bag and one sold at full asking price of 19 dollars 19 cents and then uh, the other two sold on offer like this guy 16 bucks plus shipping we've got a lego bionicle these continue to sell for us uh, this is all profit i paid 65 dollars for a shelf worth of, uh, of these guys. I don't remember how many, but uh, a whole bunch of them. And this guy sold for $18.56 plus shipping. And then we've got this. I'm going to move it down so we can look at it better. This thing's super cool. It's a wood burning thing. I got it uh, last summer at a garage sale. And the lady had just gotten or recently gotten uh, set up to, to do these sort of things and had a whole bunch of them. And I thought, you know what, this one looks cool. I'm going to pick it up. And, uh, so this is, you know, you program it and it goes through and the thing just burns your pattern on there. There's the Falcon there. There's fat Vader. There's Yoda there. This is pretty cool. And so, uh, I think, I think this was five bucks. I think she gave this to me for five bucks. It's pretty cool. It just hangs like that. And uh, I thought I'm going to take a chance on it. Something different. And uh, I was a little unsure just because it's not, of course, officially licensed. And so I don't want the mouse house coming after me. And uh, if it didn't sell before we had another vintage show, I was going to take it to the show. But it sold $47.99 plus shipping for this guy. Pretty cool. All right, it's Monday, but it's a holiday, so no mail going out today. I'm still going to pack. Uh, you know, I, I want to get a jump on the packing, and if I pack some of this smaller stuff, I can drop it off in the box, and that'll make it easier on my postal workers on Tuesday, and make it, frankly, a little bit easier for me as well. The, the counter is going to be piled up with stuff. It's just easier to bring fewer things, so we're going to split it up a little bit the smaller and easier to pack stuff i'm going to do today and get that thing shipped out and we'll start here this is uh star wars t-shirt k2so really cool design on there and i think this is a two or a three xl i can't recall 
but uh, I ended up taking an offer on this just to, to move some items out this week, and nine bucks plus shipping for that. We sold some comic books, and uh, I guess Cracked is a magazine, not necessarily a comic book, but we got this one. It's actually headed to Australia. We got the uh, the Pukemon on the, on the cover there of uh, Cracked magazine. If you're not familiar with Cracked, it's along the lines of Mad Magazine, a little bit more well known and uh, this number 339 45 23 australian dollars for that and then we've got daredevil this is uh daredevil number 81 got uh his his first interactions with uh with black widow and this one and not in perfect shape but in okay shape 798 plus shipping for that and here we've got a premiere issue this is an old gold key. You can see it's a 15 center, and then it must have gone on sale or something, and they, they wrote 10 cents on the cover. This is uh, Hanna-Barbera Fun Inn with Dastardly and Muttley. And the Dastardly and Muttley, right? And this guy sold for $9.45 plus shipping, and then they sold another as well. Doctor Strange. This is number 61. This is uh, Doctor Strange and Blade. Their first meeting happened in this one. And it sold for 8 bucks plus shipping. Here we've got... I didn't even know they made these. It's uh, from Pelican. If you guys find Pelican cases, they're extremely good. And some of them quite valuable. And this is for the old school iPod. Uh, specifically made by Pelican. Like I said, I had no idea that thing even existed, but I uh, took a shot on it when I saw it. And you know, it's not worth a ton, but it sold in a week. So that's not bad. $8.98 plus shipping. We've got another small here. Like I said, a lot of smalls that I'm doing today. Just a little figure. We got her in a bag of, of figures for like a quarter or 50 cents. And uh, I, I like doing that because you make a lot of money on that. It comes in a little bit at a time. Or sometimes you find gems in there as well. This one, not necessarily a gem. It's a little bit at a time moneymaker. Uh, she is from the loving family. Little girl there, $3.98 plus shipping. We've got a video game heading on out. It's for uh, the old Game Boy. And, and not super high dollar, but a pretty good sell-through rate on this one. And it went out for $6.50 plus shipping. This, you can see it's got stains on it even, right? It's not great, but it is, there you go, Odyssey. I mean, I could have maybe even cleaned that out. I just didn't bother. Uh, Odyssey, got a little magnetic, bleh, magnetic cover for, uh, for the putter. And these things sell pretty well. I paid a dollar for it, and it sold about a day later. So quick turnaround, even though a lower dollar amount, $7.98 plus shipping. This thing sold the day I listed it. Strangely, well, I got an offer and I accepted it because there's not a great sell-through rate on uh, stuff like this, but it's kind of cool. Uh, I got it, I think, for a dollar. It may be less because it kind of combined with some other stuff. They had this with a whole bunch of old dice in it. And uh, I guess they assumed it was part, you know, it was some kind of game. And so they had it sitting with the games. The dice didn't go with it. This is an old pen or pencil holder, leather wrapped case. And we sold it for $13.99 plus the shipping. We've got a couple of Nike pieces headed out. This hat, uh, this sold inside of a day too. Even with, you can see there's some sweat stain there. That could have been gotten out. I, I'm actually soaking some hats as we speak. So I could have held on and cleaned this one up a little bit, but I was impatient and listed it anyway. And it sold. I'm, I'm very happy that this thing sold so quickly. I've got, frankly, too many hats. $15.99 plus shipping for that. Underneath it is uh, all this little wrinkled there in the, in the bag, but really cool vintage Nike shirt design. And I picked this thing up for a dollar at a sale, and it sold... For $63.36 plus the shipping. Love it. We got some media heading out as well. Media Sales Guys, the concert for Bangladesh. George Harrison and Friends. 
picked this up at an estate sale just uh, this week. It was Thursday or Friday. I think it was Thursday at an estate sale. And I got there late because we had some uh, some other stuff going on. And I got there about 45 minutes late. Things had been hit pretty hard. The media looks like it had been left alone. We picked up a great pile of stuff. And this is all from that sale. And uh, all of these were basically a couple dollars a piece. So the George Harrison DVD sold for $15.79 plus shipping. Here we've got brand new, still in the shrink wrap, which is even better and even easier. It's the eight film collection of Harry Potter, $18.56 plus shipping. And then Hocus Pocus. I found a bunch of new and sealed VHS tapes there as well. 50 cents a piece on those. And uh, we got a couple of fantastic VHS tapes out of that bunch. And uh, this one's pretty cool. $15.95 plus shipping. So there you go. And then that's not the full weekend. We actually have some high dollar sales that happened over the weekend. I had one that happened within uh, a day of picking it up. A $3 item sold for almost 100 uh, we had, we, we mentioned in the last video, uh, media, DVDs, movies. I uh, paid a dollar a piece for 20 of them and sold for approaching $200. There are some good sales coming up in the next What Sold video, but uh, I'm happy with the stuff that we had in this one. Uh, they, there were good sales in there, and I'm happy about that. So uh, let me know how, how you guys are doing with your sales. It feels like uh, they're creeping back up. I'm actually up about 30% right now over last month. And so uh, sales are creeping up, though I have been listing a lot. You know, the other day I listed like 24, 25 new things. I've been working hard uh, on many days to try to get those listings up. And uh, we're up over 2,200 items in the store now. So I, I think that's helping. But I'm curious to know what your sales are doing uh, compared to a month ago. Are they looking a little bit better? I hope they are. Uh, once again, remember, if you, if you need help, I saw somebody just post in a Facebook group uh, yesterday. In fact, hey, what do you guys use for tracking your inventory coming in, going out, your expenses, your costs? My reseller, Gene. That's the answer. And uh, I, I think for many people, it's the answer. It's, it's not a one size fits all. Reselling isn't one size fits all. And so whatever works for me, whatever works for the next guy might not work for you, but I do uh, fully support my reseller, Jeannie. We're partners with them. And uh, if you check down below in our description in the video, you click, there's like the three dots. You click that and it'll expand the description. There you can find a, uh, a link. Click that link and the code Mountain Man, all caps, all one word. That'll get you 15% off your first month with my reseller, Jeannie. And uh, like I said, I think it's a very, very good program. The other thing down there, uh, again, is uh, is tape through American Bubble Boy, 5% uh, off your tape order with the code Mountain Man. That link is down below as well. So just wanted to throw out a mention. I don't, want, I don't hammer on that all the time. We don't want to make this channel an infomercial, but I do want to share that information with you, uh, the stuff that I use and the people that I trust. So uh, that's what we got for today, guys. I sure appreciate you, and we'll see you next time.